Alright y'all, so here we go. It's my first experience with Madden 20. I usually get the day it comes out. Technically it's my third experience with Madden 20. Um, my first couple footage just got deleted, so you know I'm tight. But I'm still happy, all smiles here. You know what I mean? It's always good, be optimistic. Um, we'll be fine. You know, y'all y'all will see this one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so uh, that's my first experience with Madden 20. Uh, I usually get it the day it comes out. Got it a day later. You know, not not that much deeper. Um, it's still downloading actually because I actually got it off PSN. Usually I prefer the physical copies, but today I got my digital one uh, because you know it's just easier. I don't have to go to the store and wait. But at the same time, I still gotta wait longer because I don't have the physical copy which has the base of it downloaded already. So now it's already downloaded from normal. Um, but I just want to start off by saying, you know, I'm guys that my man Patrick Mahomes is on the cover. I'm not a Chiefs fan, but he was killing people last year, and I love that dude. Um, he's great. Um, man is a beast. I mean, he threw for over 5,000 yards. I think it was like 5,097 yards and 50 TDs, so he's something crazy. So he was proving that he's next up without a doubt. Dude is, he's a beast. Um, um, I'm showing this because I haven't seen this. They've been doing this since like Madden 16. Well, Madden 17. I always think Madden 16. Madden 16, they just kept showing what those catch. Um, <clears throat> but since then, they've shown like, there's a little video in the beginning, uh, which is lit. You know, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm gassed about it. You know, they're showing all the stars and stuff, which is nice. Um, you know, so that's, that's what's up. Um, can't front. Um, usually, originally, I'm a Giants fan. Um, formerly, right now, I'm formerly a Giants fan. I don't have a team right now. Uh, I, I, I love the players for the Giants, but because, you know, people got to realize that for sports, it really is just a business just like anything else. Um, so they don't really, it's not about really caring about, you know, the players or having sentimental reasons for keeping people or whatever it is. Um, it's just annoying. Uh, I I just it's just really annoying watching how they work with this stuff um, because the front office like you'll see in the top right like I'm not a Cardinals fan. Um, like I said, I'm usually a Giants fan, but I just don't have a team right now because I just can't. Uh, the front office for the Giants is just it feels like they're incompetent. But you know I don't know if they have enough plan in place. But even if they did, I don't care for it. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't include anybody that that they should be using. Uh, with the exception of maybe Saquon and <laughs> maybe Evan, um, and I love Eli, but like <laughs> instead of picking up Dwayne Haskins, they go and pick up Daniel Jones. I mean, it's just silliness, you know, stuff that that you know is just is just it's it's about who they want to represent the team. Let's just be honest, and and they don't want Dwayne doing that you know, for whatever reason. I mean, I have my own speculations about what that reason is, um, which wouldn't be that surprising if you're thinking about the way history is going, especially in this country, but I digress. Point is, <laughs> um, they should have picked up Dwayne, they didn't. They got rid of Odell. They they got rid of Landon Collins. They got rid of JPP. They got rid of Damon Harrison. They got rid of, you know, Rogers Cromartie. They started off screwing up by getting rid of Tom Coughlin. It's just, it's just a bunch of nonsense. So... The only two things that they've done that was good in the last few years is picking up Odell and picking up Saquon and picking up Landon. I, I mean, I, and then they got rid of all those guys with the exception of Saquon because he was rookie last year. They got rid of him this year. The man still on his rookie contract. If they ever got rid of him, they would just be looked at as the uh, the fools of the NFL. But <laughs> um, anyways, you know. So I don't have a team. All that has to say, I don't really have a team right now. Um, hopefully, in the future, I'll be able to do it again. Uh, but you know, I need certain things to transpire so that I could do that. Um, <clears throat> but you know, that aside, I mean, I still love football. Um, I still feel for the players. All these athletes are amazing, man. Um, they do a lot of. They, I mean, they work their asses off and. And they are just that good at this. And it's just fun. Um, so, you know, I, I hope that they all have a good season. I hope people just stay as healthy as they can this year. Uh, because, you know, it's not this one. 383, when I say 5,097 yards, 50 TDs, only 12 interceptions. And it took him a while to get his first one. And um, 383 for 500. So, 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 you know, something crazy. Like, his, his accuracy is insane. Patrick Mahomes is a beast. Um... But that's a given, um, you know. But now since I don't really have a, 
a Giants team to root for. Uh, I'm rooting for certain players that I love. Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton, um, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes. Um, you know, I'm rooting for all those guys. Uh, I'm rooting for Colin Murray. Uh, can't stand the Washington, D.C. team. Now, I'm not going to say their name because I feel like you shouldn't have to because they should change their name a while ago, but I digress. Uh, <laughs> you know, not to get whole, all political on people, but there are certain things that you should be that you should take into consideration. Um, but anyway, this country's only gone but so far. But, you know, I think the point is, like, for the third time, I think. Uh, <laughs> point is, I'm going for Dwayne, and I want him to torch people. Um, he's a beast. Uh, there's no doubt about that. That's not even a question. He's going to he's gonna light people up. Um, the man is just that good. It's going to be fun watching him kill people. Um... You know, so now I'm rooting for I'm rooting for those guys. I'm rooting for the Browns because Odell's there. I love Jarvis Landry and those guys too. But I mean, like as far as being like a big fan of somebody that's there, it's really uh, Odell's why. I'm really for it. Um, but last year the Browns kicked. Uh, it's been it was the first time in a while where the Browns really look like you know they were gonna do something. You know what I mean? Like they they really they had a good season, man. It was the first time they had a good season in a while. Like. Yeah, no, they were the first day in a while. Who really won no games? I had not seen that. Like even from the Browns, even from the worst team in the league a couple years ago, they won no games or one game. Like, and the thing is, I really don't think they were as bad as it looked. People are gonna laugh at that, but I really think that they were better than than they seemed because people didn't get the and people people didn't watch them that much because you know it's cool and it's a smaller market anyways. And on top of that, they're not good, so that's bad. Um, that's a bad combination. That's a recipe for failure. Uh, but. To be honest, the players that they have were good, and their defense actually was solid. Them getting picking up Baker was clearly the missing. Uh... Oh, give me that! That was so stupid. Oh, we leaving? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that's good language. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. So Byron Jones is just nasty for that. Um, we gonna start off with throwing because you know I, I like to throw mostly. Um, I I run too. I mean, I like to mix it up, but I do love throwing. Um, but but you know, so uh, yeah. So the Browns the Browns are going to be y'all know they're probably going to have a top three uh, offense this year. I don't see how they win. Um, I mean, those boys are nasty. I mean, they got too much firepower. Between Odell, their tight end and Joku, Jarvis Landry, um, Nick Chubb, um, uh, Akeem, uh, Kareem Hunt. Um, it's just, I mean, they're, they're, it's, they, they, they're gonna, they're gonna really torch people this year. It's gonna be bad. Um, I hope the AFC North is ready. Uh, the Steelers are gonna have to look out. The Ravens actually have one of the top defenses, which y'all know if y'all watched, uh, football last year. Yeah, I know they got one of the top defenses. So for them, they're gonna be one of the best matchups. Uh, for the Browns, like, you, know, you heard it here. At least I think so, uh, because of even that dynamic. Um, but not to mention, too. Speaking of the Ra Ravens, um, like I was telling people last year, if they let Lamar Jackson, they got to use Lamar Jackson the right way. And I don't mean just letting him run and doing triple option and stuff like that. No, you gotta let him throw. You gotta let. We're going for it. We don't make this exciting. Uh, <laughs> um, um, you gotta let him throw because he's an accurate passer. I don't care what anybody says. It was his first year in the league, and and if he and they didn't let him. Most of the plays he was in were like was like QB option ones. Let him throw, and I guarantee you he will he will um he will impress y'all. Y'all you know, saw what happened in the game in the playoffs. I mean, first let's start off by talking about his 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 uh, stats in college were insane. He threw for over three thousand yards and ran for a thousand yards. Like he's a crazy athlete. He's extremely fast. He's a beast. But he's passed first. He's pass first, so don't make him don't make him run first. You know, what I mean? um, it's just silly when you do that. I mean, you're hindering people's um, uh, abilities, and then you, then when you hinder their abilities, it makes it so the ceiling for the team is much lower, for that offense is much lower. Um, but I like John Harbaugh. He kept him in last year against the Chargers, even though like the Chargers were were winning most of that game. Uh, if not the whole game, uh, I don't remember, you know, how it went completely, you know, it was a while ago now, so much ago. But, you gotta let him throw, man. When he did throw at the end of the game, remember, dude scored two touchdowns in, like, 40 seconds to a minute. Um, and it was just, and he threw accurately. 
the, the, the boy can throw. You got to treat him like he's Cam or Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson who, who can throw, but, you know, they are pass first. Wow, is that like the same play? I think Farquhar that twice. Good luck, Um... Yeah, so you gotta let him throw. Um, the, you let him throw, and the Ravens turn into a, uh, that that much better of a team that can really score. So right now, I think the best two teams in the AFC North, especially since the, the Steelers let Antonio Brown go, uh, are, is gonna be um, um, the Ravens and the uh, and the Browns. The Bengals are like a forgotten team. I'm not trying to hate on them. Uh, they they just don't have. They just they're just not. They just don't have it. At some point they will, because every team gets their chance. Uh, but as of right now, they just don't care. They're like probably fourth best in that Which they've been fourth best in that division. Well, let me not say that, because the Browns were there. They were on third best. Uh, a lot of the times they were third best. Even though they would win like 11 games, but y'all know they could never like go very far. Um, so that's the AFC North. Um, let's see, the AFC East with the Jets and the Bills and Miami. And the Patriots, uh, the Patriots are probably going to be the number one again uh, next year. <laughs> I don't care for the Bills. I don't think they're going to be that good. Uh, Josh Allen's not it, really. Um, I'm not trying to say he's not. I mean, I'm not saying he's, he's horrible. Uh, but I think they need more. <laughs> I think they need more. Um, Miami made a good, a great uh, decision by picking up Josh Rosen. Um... They picked up Ryan Fitzpatrick too, but we all know he'll throw for six six touchdowns and he'll throw for six interceptions the next game, so he's like rude. Um, <laughs> and then uh, the Jets. The Jets are gonna be better. It'll pro the Jets might be the second best team in the AFC East, uh, but we'll have to see. It'll probably be a toss between them and the Dolphins. It usually is. Uh, the Bills were last a lot, except for when they had Ty Tyron Taylor, but they let him go, which was dumb. Um, but whatever, you know? <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, or Tyron Taylor. Uh, but that was silly. Um, for the AFC West, who's in the AFC West, guys? The, the Chiefs, the Raiders, um, the Broncos. Who was the last team in the AFC West? Chiefs, Raiders, Broncos. It'll come to me after I go to the AFC South. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. Oakland got Antonio Brown. They got Jordy Nelson. Uh, they still have Khalil Mack. Um, so, they'll be solid. Uh, they could be the best team in the AFC. Oh, yeah. They could be the best team in the AFC West. Uh, I might not say much if the rest of the teams are not that good. I don't really know. I'm trying to remember how the Broncos did last year. I know it wasn't great. Um, but they have some players themselves, too. So it's not like they're completely horrible or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's probably between Oakland and the Broncos because I don't know that. Uh, oh, I know the Chiefs. I'm sorry. The Chiefs are there. Chiefs are there, right? Yeah, the Chiefs are there. AFC West. So. The Chiefs are nasty. Um, they're they're going to be the best team without one of these. Um, they very well will probably go to them. They have a good shot of going to the Super Bowl next year if Andy Reid learns how to clock manage. This year was like one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life where he really let his team score, giving Tom Brady and the Patriots three minutes left on the clock to score. Uh, that was that was that was dumb. I think that was really dumb. Um, don't know what that was about. Your team is so good on offense that like you don't need to like you can, oh wow you will take that but there's a flat so the passer suck my ah anyways <sighs> I guess um I guess uh, <laughs> they're trying to get off Fletcher Cox um but yeah um so you know they're gonna be probably they're gonna easily be the best team I don't know who's gonna fall on second. We're here to find out. Um, but yeah, that was just dumb. Like they let he let he let them score and gave Tom Brady and them three minutes. They should have just milked the clock, scored because nobody can stop that offense. It's too dynamic. I care what anybody says. Um, they're just that good. Um, and he all he had to do was just milk the clock and he did it. Um, now they still actually got interceptions on Tom that game. They got two of them. The second one had had it stood, uh, they would have won that game. Um, 
So he put his faith in his defense and they actually delivered. The problem is that D4, that neutral zone infraction killed them. Uh, it did, and, and lost him the game, but it's not all his fault because you know, it's a team sport, yeah, especially football. Like, they're probably the best, the most team sport. That baseball has its rules too. Uh, uh, but it's just like it's not like basketball where like if you have a few su superstars like you know your team gonna go to the playoffs and you know they're gonna do damage. Um, football's not like that. You got stars, but you know you still need everybody to do their job. Even if they're not considered a star. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Um, that AFC South. Who is that? That's the Jaguars, the Colts. Uh, the Jaguars, the Colts, the Texans, uh, and Tennessee Titans. So I'm forgetting one team, and I don't know. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Texans can really be the best team in that division with ease if they get an O line. Let's just be honest. They get an O line. And that team is nasty. I mean, that team. Seriously. Like, Deshaun Watson was the most sacked quarterback um, <clears throat> in the league last year. In the league, yo. Like, like if he if, if his O-line was even a little bit better, he they would have killed people. They can't guard DeAndre Hopkins. Deshaun is a beast. They have Willie Sneed. <laughs> no, no, Willie Sneed's on the Ravens. I'm sorry. They had somebody else. They had another receiver who I can't think of. Oh, they have Michael Crap. No. Somebody else is there who's who's also nasty, <clears throat> and uh, he was just throwing the ball to them. Their defense is solid, too, with um with Jadavian Clowney and JJ Watt. They get an O line, and that team is nasty. Um, the Colts, Andrew Luck is back. Wow, we're really got to run back right now. Um, <clears throat> um, so there's that. That's that's gonna be lit. Um, but Andrew Luck is back, bro. And he showed that he was back last year. Uh, he lit people up like he usually does. Uh, so, <laughs> so like <laughs> they're gonna be nice. Um, and if they get a little help too, you know that they're gonna be nice because that's that's all they ever needed. They always needed like a, a few extra pieces that would make them that would put them over the edge for being uh, the best team there, or one of the best teams there. I still think the Texans have the most potential. Although Marcus Mariota and the Titans are nasty, and they actually have one of the best defenses. They had the best. I think they have the best secondary defense last year. Um, they made it to the. They made it to the playoffs. They almost made it to the playoffs. Um, so we'll see what they do this year. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, now to go to the NFC. Um, I guess I'll start off with my former team's division. <laughs> um, the NFC uh, East. Um, you know, I don't care much for him, but I, you know, for the uh, for the division in the sense that like I never was a fan of them. I was a Giants fan, so I didn't like playing against any other people. But I'm thinking that. The best team in the NFC East is probably going to be between the Eagles and the Cowboys. But because Dwayne is in D.C., who knows? The, the Giants are either going to be third or fourth in the, the division. I just don't see it. Um, they've gotten rid of too many people. They didn't fix the O-line enough. So I just don't see them being much better than that. But the Giants always surprise people when they doubt them. So... Um, you know, usually the Giants as a culture, well, at least when Tom Coughlin was there, they pref they preferred to be the underdogs because we like to we like to sh shut people up. That was our attitude. I mean, that's New York. <laughs> so I mean, that's that's what we do. Um, but anyway, that's what that's what we did. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be like now. But again, I'm uninterested. Uh, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's probably going to be between the NFC and it's probably going to be between the Eagles and the Cowboys for the best team. Actually, let me not say that. Because the defense on DC was nasty last year. And they do have weapons. So adding Dwayne Haskins could actually put them over the edge. So uh, let me not say that. So we'll, we'll see. Actually, <laughs> we will actually see. Um, the NFC North is what? The Vikings, the... The Packers, who that was sad last year, they were just completely disappointed. But like, they lost a lot of people. I don't think they have the same people they had. But it's the Bears, the Vikings, the the, uh, the Packers, and the Lions. Oh, Lions. oh, Detroit. And with all the BS y'all got going over there, I mean, I know football is probably your friends. Uh, probably not your biggest concern. But um, 
I mean, they're not even. I mean, there's the even hits in Detroit that are very good in the water uh, to this day. And the state's not doing anything about that. Uh, <laughs> this is this country, man. Um, but the Lions always end up being like mid of the road to like that. They're never like. <laughs> It's like they're never like they're never really like good. It's like it's like I mean I want them to be good. I really do because uh, they've had too much time of being just ass on me. Uh, <laughs> but I want that. I want that. Um, the Bears, uh, they're gonna be nice. The Bears are gonna be nice. They won ten or eleven games last year and almost went to the playoffs when they lost to the Eagles that game later in the season. That was something. That was a good game too. But they couldn't win. Really I think they lost. They did lose, actually. Uh, they missed that kick. <laughs> they missed the kick um, that they usually don't miss, and that that hurt them. So we'll see with that. Right now, I, that division seems like a toss-up to me. After the Bears, the Bears are probably the best team in that division, and that that that's a toss-up. Unless the Packers have made changes over the off-season that I don't know about. I haven't watched it that much, like I said, because I'm just I'm still upset. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Um, NFC, we can go on with the other coast. NFC West with the Cardinals. Uh, who else is over there? The Seahawks, uh, the Rams, and I also get the third team, the fourth team. <laughs> um, the Cardinals, the Seahawks, the Rams. Uh, it'll come to me. Um, <laughs> uh, um, that's going to be an interesting division. That division always feels like a toss-up. Uh, Kyler Murray's on the Cardinals now, so he'll be able to help them out a lot, but I still think they need a lot of help. I think they need Jesus and then other players. Um, <laughs> need a lot of help. Um, but uh, the Seahawks, that one's probably a toss-up, you know, between uh, um, the Seahawks and the Rams, is my guess. Um, okay. Shit, I don't know why I can't remember who the fourth team over there is. Damn. Oh, the Chargers were the one in the AFC West. Sorry, that was the that was the other team. Uh, oh, get off me. Y'all are so, get off me, dog. Oh, no, <laughs> um, yeah, the Chargers. Uh, they gonna be nice. So what did I say before? This is gonna be a toss up between. There's going to be a toss up between the Chargers and the Chiefs. Yeah, the I don't know where Oakland's going to fall. I don't know where the Broncos are going to fall. But it'll probably be a toss up between those two teams. I'm just something happens. Um, for the NFC West. Oh, the Niners. That's what it is. Ah, they get Jimmy Garoppolo back, don't they? They get Jimmy Garoppolo back. Um, then they will be good. Uh, what the, the guy that filled in for him, though, was good, actually. He actually didn't do poorly at all, actually. He, he made a name for himself. Uh, he actually took really well, um, and he seems like somebody that doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Although I can't remember, I can't make, I can't remember his name right now. He seems like somebody that does not make a lot of mistakes. I watched him play, and I was like, he doesn't really panic, and that's really important when you got a quarterback or any player for that matter. He doesn't panic, so you know, they gotta watch him. Um, the NFC North, I did that. NFC East, I did that. NFC West, I did that. NFC South. Oh, Carolina, um, Saints, Falcons, um, Carolina, Saints, Falcons, and like one of the last teams in the whole week that I can't remember. Oh, Bucks. Yeah, the Bucks. Got the Bucks. You feel me? Uh, they, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about the Bucks. Yeah. Uh, the Panthers are gonna be good because Cam is if Cam's healthy. Because remember, he almost had an MVP season until he got hurt in like week five or six. Um, he was happy. He was killing people. That's Cam. That's kind of how they judge you. Um, <laughs> um, Cam. Uh, so it's gonna be that division fight. Oh, I missed the tackle. Oh, get off me. Oh, pick. Oh, you stupid. Yeah. To the bar. Come on. Um, um, who, uh, yes, sorry, Panthers, they're probably going to be in there, um, the Bucks are always a toss-up, I really don't know what's going to go on with them, 
The Falcons are going to be good. The Bucks will probably be fourth, and that's it, you know, unless they do something crazy. Because the Saints, I don't know if they're going to have the same season they had this year, where they barely lost. Where are they 13 and 3? Something crazy. I don't know if they're going to do all that. Um, <laughs> but they'll probably win at least 10 or 11 games. Um, so, you know. They're going to do that. So the Saints might be the best team in the NFC North again. But it'll probably be between them and the Panthers. Uh, although the Falcons, Falcons part of the reason why they didn't they didn't have the season they would have liked to. Uh, oh, that's a fumble? Wow. Tackle him, Drew. Uh, um, part of the reason why they had a bad season was because uh, Devontae Freeman got hurt in the season opener against the Eagles. A lot of people forget that, and I know a lot of people have. I, l I love y'all, you know what I mean? And when I say y'all, I'm talking about fans, like, because I'm a fan. But, like, of football, but, like, it seems like fans have short-term memory loss. I'm not saying I've talked to a bunch of people who think Devontae Freeman is not going to be good again. Um, but I'm just saying, like, just from this past season with basketball ending, and people forget that, like, there are people that are just beasts, bro. Like, and, and they're gonna, if they're healthy, they're gonna come back as beasts. Like, like, and they might even come back even better. Like, uh, cause people, people get hurt, and then people start being like, oh, they're not gonna be good this year. And you're like, yo, they might not be at their top tier this year, but you also gotta remember if they're healthy this whole year, the whole length of this year, or mostly healthy for the length this year, they're still recovering. Mid season, that first half, sure, they were still recovering. That second half, you probably start to see glimpses of their their crazy prowess. And then by the year after, they're gonna be back to the same person that was killing your team last year. <laughs> Most of the time, you know, especially with like the way that um, the technology we have with, with people's injuries getting fixed and um, and uh, handled and mended. Yo, like I wouldn't sleep. Cause that happened in basketball too. Bron played 55 games this year and still averaged 28, what was it, 7 and 9 or 28, 8 and 7, something crazy like that. Or 27, I'm sorry, 27, 8 and 7 or 27, 8 and 9, something wild like that. And people were like, oh, he's not the best player in the league anymore. I'm like, stop. And Kawhi, to me, is probably second. Him and KD is a toss-up. I mean, I'm, I'm going on a little tandy here because of football. Really about football, but that's a little tangent. People used to say that about Kawhi last year. Remember, y'all, if y'all if y'all watch both basketball and football, you know people were like, "Oh, I don't know if Kawhi's gonna come back the same." I was like, "Stop it! Let him be healthy, and 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 he's gonna kill." And then what he does? He what did he do? He got healthy. He came back this year and won a chip, not by himself, but he's still the he's still the leader. That he was the leader of that team. Oh, give us that back! I'm spinning. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I thought I'd be able to get him back. Um, but yeah, so I'm just saying that, uh, I think people will come back next year and be that good. Um, so Cam is probably going to torch people. Um, Drew Brees is going to torch people. The Saints always do. Uh, rooting for James Winston. But, like, you know, I just feel like, I don't know, the Bucks are weird. Uh, they're really weird. Um, because I don't know, like, you don't know if they're going to be good or not. You know, you, I want to say that they're going to be good. I like Jameis, but like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and I like, I like, um, oh my gosh, Mike Evans. Um, so, you know. Ah, uh, he has stayed in. I didn't even run really at all, so we about to do a run play. But yeah, y'all, so that's just that's just my take on the divisions this year. Uh, and the teams, what they're going to do. You know, this is my speculation. You know, y'all have speculation. I don't know what's going to happen, of course. I'm sure I can't see it in the future, but... Um, <laughs> You know, uh, it's gonna be an interesting season. Uh, a lot of good rookies. Uh, they'll probably turn up at a level that people may not be expecting. Um, so watch out for that. Um, yeah, next year Tua comes in. So we. Oh, no. oh Todd. <laughs> Damn. I thought I was going to be able to break out of that and do some crazy things. Um, but yeah, so, you know, we we, we going to see, you know. It's going to be interesting this year. Uh, what can you do? You know, you just make guesses. And you hope that they transpire. Um, 
So we'll see. Uh, as far as the gameplay for this, though, you know, uh, this just came out yesterday, I guess, and so, you know, I don't know how many people, I mean, a lot of people buy it, it's, it's bad. Uh, there's probably millions of people that buy it, but there are probably millions more to buy it, uh, because not everybody's that big on getting it the day it comes out. Uh, I used to not get any sports games the day it came out, because I felt like they didn't change enough for me to do that. Uh, but then I was just like, but what got me, and I think what they do bank on is that people want to play with their rookies. You know what they want to play with their rookies and the teams that got formed since the offseason started. So they bank on that. Because they know people aren't necessarily going to play it because they think the gameplay is going to be that different. It's a sports game. You can only, you can only do this so different. But I want to say the improvements they made. Um, Madden 19 was really good, actually, with the control you had over the players and, like, the control and stuff. Uh, um, this is even better. Um, it's enhanced. You can place the ball even better, uh, like, as a quarterback. Uh, you can throw it in, in even tighter windows, I feel like, or better windows, I should say. Um, uh, you can juke and spin on people. Like, I also play on arcade, like, when I'm on the computer. Um, obviously, when you're online, it has to be competitive mode, but I like, I, I don't mind either. It's just fun in arcade, because, like, to play against the computer and for you to play, because I feel like more fun stuff happens. I feel like arcade is the best mode, because you still have to be able to play. Like, you can't just come on and think that because it's arcade that you can just mess around. Um, oh, you, you're a clown. You're a clown. Yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> but um, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I don't know why I'm feeling like torture. Oh, that's Pat P. Like I, I had to take it to the Baja. I had to take it to the house. Um. Terrific in this game. But yeah, y'all, I mean, the controls, as you can just see, you juking folks and stuff, you get more animations, they always have more animations. Um, you know, this game is fun, I, I do love Madden, I, I love Madden. I like Madden more than I love 2K, but basketball's always my number one sport. Um, Madden, uh, football's always my second, but they're very close. I love golf too, but that's kind of a side note. Um, but it's just like, it's, it's just... <laughs> It's just funny because, like, um, you know, 2K, I just get annoyed with so much. Like, it's not like Madden doesn't have its own BS. Like, like all these games are going to have their own BS. But it's just like 2K's BS upsets me the most. Like, especially since 2K15, when, like, they started making it so your my player could be as good as he could be. Like, now you could get to the 90s, but, like, they make you pick the type of player your guy is. So, like, you got to pick between shot creator and sharpshooter or defender or playmaker. Like, dog, like... My guy, I'm trying to make my guy to go. Alright, he's supposed to be able to do all of that. Like, it's not even, it shouldn't, it's not supposed to be like a discussion like that. <laughs> like, it's just, that's just, that isn't it. That's not what we're here for. We're here to make our dream player. Um, so I really, I really hope for 2K20, which comes out in September, that it's like that. Yeah, we, I will not, I refuse to let you run your ass all the way back to the, to the, to the, to the um, but yeah, yeah, oh, that was the game. Oh, hey, I, I actually, so I had, <laughs> so I had 80% completion percentage, I'll take it, Pat Mahomes had 72%, uh, I was just able to play defense today, I don't know, what happened, um, uh, what's crazy is that the last two recordings, Pat, uh, Patrick Mahomes beat me out, <laughs> I won them, I won the games, but he beat me out, um, but this time, my geek, well, that's a boss, he, he beat me on the, on the, on the, on the number, on the score, on the, uh, on the stack, but yeah, y'all, yeah, you know, like, it's, uh, you know, he, he, was, he was kicking my ass, just put it that way, um, but we happened to get him this time on the numbers and the scoreboard, so it's like, um, but yeah, y'all, yeah, you know, so that's really it for me, that's my take on this year coming up for football, but also, uh, you know, my little snippet at the end about the Madden gameplay, and I feel like there's not much to say with sports games, because not that much changes, but I would say you should get it, because from what I've played so far, it feels like a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to record my online play soon, you know, uh, towards some people online. I'm not saying, you know, I'm the GOAT, but I'm kind of nice. So I was thinking, if y'all want to play me, you know, send me an invite. Or or give me put your PSN down, and we can get this popping. But, um, I'm going to catch y'all, you know, in the next video, and I appreciate y'all watching this. And, um... Yeah, I love you. Uh, peace out. You feel me? Stay safe. Do your thing. Don't, uh...
ります。